hello guys in this tutorial i will be showing you how you can easily bypass talk to copyright here i have i haven't activated the plugin which is i'm which i'm gonna do right now so let's go to our install plugin go to our install plugin area and here you can find it okay yes i've installed it but i haven't activated but for those who haven't installed you can go into this directory add new directory then you search for talk talk to talk to just search for talk to and you have it here then you install it and activate it here and activate it it has been activated now go to the settings currently i have signed in with my own account so you can select your widget. My own widget here is Lockhouse. <coughs> then I'll be using this widget. Then save it. Now my properties have been saved. Let's go to the front screen and check what we have saved. Okay. It's loading. Now we have it here. It has been it has been it has been saved. Yeah, we can message hello. And it's going to be sent directly to the dashboard over here. Now to join the conversation, I reply by saying hi. How may I help? How may I help? Just the best answer. As you can see, it's working perfectly. What we are trying to do here is to get track of this. Let's try to get it. Okay, to start, to start with this. We are going to go back to our seal panel, which is our our default directory of WordPress. Now to do that, we navigate to our localhost. One server. Here is my WW directory. Then inside your WP plugin area, you find your top two script. Now the first thing we are going to target is our ID and our widget ID. And where can we get that? We get that from our templates under widgets. Inside the widget, you find it here. You find this link URL and the page ID, which is in the widget ID also. Just copy this. Copy this. And also go back to the settings. For we are trying to make this visible in this area. It must be visible here for us to be able to get the link. So to make it visible here is what I'm going to do right now. To do that, search for this query. Properties and widgets is already installed. Let's search for it. Properties and widgets already installed. Property. Okay, I got that here. Property and widgets is already set. Inside this place, you can paste your link in there. But I pasted the link. Save it. Let's check it's gonna work. Now, if you refresh this, it's only showing the hypertext, but the entire link is not really displayed. So to make that displayed, you have to set this in an hypertext language. Now let's set our anchor tag here. Our anchor tag should be this area. <coughs> anchor tag. Sorry. Okay. Then the href will be the link, and the new targeting. <coughs> the new targeting will be on. Will be a <coughs> blank. A new title. A new blank title. Okay, you can name this as your link, my link. Then the href will be the particular link you copied from widget area over here. The link you copied from here, so we are going to be displaying it here for us to know our page ID and our widget ID. Then, to make this visible, we have to concatenate the PHP file and differentiate it from the, from the string title. Okay, to do that, we make a concatenation from here and also make another concatenation here another concatenation here another concatenation here then you can delete this PHP and delete this echo I've deleted that then also delete this that will be deleted another concatenation then close your concatenation now I have done this now save it let's go back to the packet and refresh okay it works here I have my link I click on my link Let's see the JS file that's going to be echoing out for us. Here I got my I got my JS file. My JS file has been displayed. So what you do for me now is 
control all the JS file, copy everything, and go back to your sublime test, create a new folder, a new file right now, and paste it inside and save it on that template directory and make it a new JS, a new JS dot JS, <coughs> new JS dot JS, and save that. And let's see what we have. <coughs> that has been saved. Now with this little thing we've done, we've gotten our JS from top two. So what we have to do now is is to hack into the into the copyright text. Before we do that, let's go back to our settings page and delete what we have here. Let's delete this thing. It's so our link tied to we don't need it anymore. Just get it off. Okay, send that. Now after that, close this page. Refresh here. Make sure your my, your link title is not displayed anymore. Now it has been getting that right off. Now let's check the front page. If this talk to copyright has been disabled, I'm refreshing my browser to check if the copyright has been disabled. Oh, the copyright is still there. Now let's keep on working. Now let's go straight to this address to make it off <coughs> the page. Now to make that work. Our link, our new JS will be our new link for our widget area over here. Our new JS file will be for will be our new link in this our widget area over here. So to make that possible, we have to be using this query. So we drop this query in between this place. This query be set. Okay. Okay, sorry. Okay. Then your new JS, your new JS will be, will be sitting that way. Remember, you saved it under template directory, and mine also is in template directory. No, I have new JS over here. After saving it, let's refresh the browser. <coughs> Sorry, I have a little cough. Here yeah, we are still having the talk to branding. Now let's search for the talk to branding and delete that stuff, man. To have it, then search for default. Default, sorry, default iPhone branding. Default branding. Ah, yeah, I got my here. Yeah, we find it. Default branding. Sorry, we don't find it anymore. Default branding. Okay, this is it. Default branding. Now you are going to be deleting from this space tag, this pan tag rather, right this pan class thing we had talked to these their images, the images in between the talk to write up and we have write up. So you are going to be deleting this pan from from this pan with the class of thing down to this both text of talk to. Sorry, sorry. Okay, down to this place. So you are going to be deleting it and ensure you leave the single quotes. The single quotes must be lived for you to enjoy the plugin very well. So save it and refresh the browser. Is this still there or gone? Now the <coughs> now it's gone. We don't have it anymore here. It has been disabled. So let's check if our plugin is still working. Hello. Working. Oh wow, it's still working, man. Okay, let me reply. Hi. Hi, I can see the plugin is working. It's working. Hi, I can see the plugin is working. Thanks. Uh, yeah. As you can see, it's working perfectly. Thanks. Yeah, that's all. If you are having issue with these little lines of code and everything here that I've just done, you can easily comment below and let me know where you are having issue with. Then I will get it fixed for you. Happy coding. See you next time.